had a really tough consultation today with a wonderful husband and wife who have a son who is addicted to opioids and has been for some time and just can't seem to get clean. He's living out in California and doesn't have a phone, doesn't have a place of residence. He's basically living on the streets and mom and dad are trying to figure out, you know, how do we provide for him in our estate plan? We obviously can't give him lump sum of cash because that would be catastrophic. Um, we talked about several different strategies of um, timed distributions, of putting some requirements of taking drug tests and, and having a clean result before getting distributions. But the challenge is that no one can get a hold of him because, like I said, he doesn't have a phone, doesn't keep a phone, and doesn't have a normal place of residence where someone can try to get a hold of him. So it made it really difficult. We talked about some strategies and nothing is perfect, and I think that was the challenge for especially the mom is that she was looking for a perfect solution of how do we take care of her baby, or her baby's, you know, obviously in his 40s, but nonetheless, it's still her baby, and so she wanted this perfect solution, and I had to tell her, like, listen, I can I can promise you the world, but if no one knows how to get a hold of your son, and he's not able to be reached for purposes of distributing money to him, or making him comply with any fancy language we put in the trust about uh, drug counseling or drug treatment or drug testing or anything else, it's not going to be perfect. Now, hopefully, um, the parents are around for some period of time, and hopefully the son gets his act together and cleans himself up and you know everything goes well. But this nagging um, problem of not having a perfect solution has plagued this family. In fact, I consulted with them over two years ago, and we kind of had the same conversation today as we had two years ago, is there is no perfect solution but doing something is better than doing nothing. Because doing nothing, then he is their sole beneficiary, and if their estate goes through probate, if and when he's ever found, he's gonna be handed a check for hundreds of thousands, if not over a million dollars, and we can all agree that is not a good solution. So I recommended to them, let's just do the best we can in an imperfect situation. We're miles ahead of doing nothing, and it may or may not work at the end of the day as well as we'd hoped for, but it'll work better than burying our head in the sand and knowing that eventually he's gonna get a lump sum and with the addiction that he has very well may inadvertently take his own life as part of getting his inheritance. So, a little downer today, but we do the best we can and we try to help our clients and most importantly, we're transparent and honest with our clients that sometimes there's not a magic bullet solution to your family's dynamics. Have a great day.